What's up, y'all? I'm gonna show you guys how to add perf contour cut swatches in Adobe Illustrator to be used in VersaWorks. So when you're cutting out, when you're trying to cut out on your roll-in machines using VersaWorks, the VersaWorks program is, it's programmed, software is programmed to recognize the, swap, the spot colors as the, as the cut lines, as the like contour cut, and as the perf cut lines. You could download a swatch pack from like Roland and just upload it into Adobe Illustrator. That's a whole different process. Uh, or you can just do it this way. This is a quick way to do it. Like say, I need, I want to add a perf cut to this particular sticker that I uh, made in a previous video. So it's, this is already, the magenta is already the contour cut, or the cut contour, so kind of like the kiss cut, but I wanna do a perf cut. I wanna cut all the way through the vinyl material. So I'm gonna show you guys how to add that swatch. So we're gonna click on that part, go to stroke, and we're gonna go to add new swatch and gotta change the color. And if to prove to you that it does not matter what color it is, I'm just gonna pick a random, like a different color. Um, we're gonna do green or something like that. But on the swatch pack that you download from Roland, the perf cut, cut contour is like a cyan color. But all you have to do is all about the name. It has to be, the, it, they go off the swatch name, not like the actual color. So in order to just make a perf cut contour, all you gotta do is put perf in front of it, P R F but you have to make sure it's spelled exactly like how it is. P-E-R-F, capital C-U-T, capital C-O-N-T-O-U-R. Perf cut contour. And then that's it, just hit okay. And now you have that perf cut. So I'm gonna turn that back to the magenta cut contour, but I'm also going to go and just make another, go to object, go to path, go to offset path, and we're just gonna make another offset for it and I'm gonna make it round, okay. And that one, I'm gonna change it to the swatch the swatch spot color that I just created, and that's the perf cut contour. So you have to make sure there are spot colors, a spot color, and you have to make sure the name, like just for another reference, see how it says cut contour, and then perf cut contour. It has to be spelled exactly that way, or it won't work. And next step, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna export this whole art piece as a PDF, go to file, export selection, and I'm gonna just do test three and make sure it saves the PDF, export asset. And now I'm gonna close this out and go into VersaWorks. And these are other jobs I did, but we can go ahead and file, add job to Q, QA. And where was test three? Test three. Then you go ahead and open that up and test three is in the queue. So one thing to show you guys that it registered the, the cut lines. If you see where it says special items here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a right here it says special items. And then there's a A, if you hover over, it's gonna say normal cut. And then there's a A in a perforated square that's gonna say a perforated cut. So that lets you know that it registered those spot colors as you know the cut lines, the cut layers. So I'm gonna double click on this art that I just imported. And then let's just go straight to the cut controls. And you'll see it says cutting options right here. You have the cutting conditions. This is the contour cut, a regular cut, and this is a perforated cut controls. So that lets you know right there that it registered. And like, I just go to cut only, and you can see right there registered in. So that tells you right there, it does not matter what color it is. It's just, it matters by the name. So. There you go. But that's it, y'all. Like, I just want to do a quick little, quick little tutorial and show you guys that you don't have to download the actual swatches. You just have to make sure the name is correct and you can just make your own, you know, uh, cut layers.